hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can harden and secure ubuntu linux i'll be running the commands on the terminal i have the terminal open here and uh, the first thing we want to do is to make sure we are doing an update and upgrade of uh, the packages installed on the system we can use the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade we'll put dash y for yes and this should run both of those two commands and it's done so i did i did this command recently that's why it didn't take long if, if it's your first time doing this command it might take a while to finish the other thing you might want to do is you can automate or you can have the security updates run automatically the commands to do that are sudo apt install unattended upgrades and then the other one will be sudo dp pkg reconfigure priority equals low unattended dash upgrades so once you have those commands your system should be good to go as far as updates and upgrades the other thing you might want to do is you might want to uh, disable root login so if you want to disable uh, the root account from logging directly so if you want to disable the root account from logging into the computer what you can do is you can disable it using sudo pass wd dash l root press enter and that should disable logging in as root now if you wanted to do admin tasks you can use sudo you can create users and give them sudo privileges so let's see here let's say we created a new user say create a new user joe so let's say sudo add user joe and then you have to give the user a password here so let's give the user a password then you can fill out the information once you have the user added you can add the user to the sudo group that way they get sudo privileges you can use sudo user mode dash ag sudo is the name of the group and then the name of the user joe now the user joe should be in that group sudo group the next thing you might want to do is you might want to enable or configure a firewall on the system you can use the uncomplicated firewall or ufw so if it's not installed we can do sudo apt install ufw then we can check the status ufw status so you you need to configure rules on it say if you want to allow ssh login to the system you can do sudo ufw allow ssh if you wanted to allow let's say http https you can allow them using you can allow those services using those commands another thing you can do is you can block all incoming traffic and allow anything that's going out so anything that's originate originating from the from your computer is allowed to go out if something is coming or originating from outside your computer it's not allowed unless you have a rule that's allowing it so we can do sudo ufw default we can deny incoming and then we can say ufw default allow outgoing And now that we have the rules, we can enable the uh, firewall and then check its status. So if we check the status, you see that it's inactive. So in the password. Now to start it, we'll say sudo ufw 
enable and then repeat the command to check the status and it should show you what services are being allowed so the action is allowed from anywhere for this uh, 22 which is ssh 80 http and uh, 440, 443 for https to disable it you will uh, change this to disable and it should go inactive again so that's it for the firewall you may also want to secure your ssh access uh, for instance, you can have root login disabled and if you're using SSH keys, you can disable password authentication. In order to, to make these changes, you need to edit sshd config file. So it's located under etc ssh directory. So you can do use your editor and then open the file shd and this is the file right here so just look for the lines that you want to edit like i said you can edit the one that permits root login and disable it you can say permit root login you can put no here And you can look for the line that says password authentication. And if you're using, like I said, if you're using keys, you can say no to password authentication. And then you go ahead and uh, save the file. And that's it for the SSH configuration. Next thing we will look at is how to disable unwanted or services that are not needed. You can check what services are running on the system and if there's any service you think is unnecessary, you can disable it. Let's use a command here. It's gonna be sudo system ctl unit files type is going to be service. We'll grab for enable enabled. We wanna look at services that are enabled and as you can see here you have the list of all the services that are enabled so if you wanted to disable a service say ufw service what you'll do is you'll do sudo system ctl disable and then the service name ufw service So there's a typo here and the service is has been removed now if I do sudo fw start starters it's inactive another thing we can do is we can secure file permissions for sensitive files like the password file like the file that stores users and the file that stores passwords and even the file that stores groups we can restrict the permissions we can use sudo ch mode just modify the permissions here it's see shadow shadow this is the file where passwords are stored you can also restrict g shadow uh, g shadow we can also make changes to the permissions for you can use 644 for past wd where users are stored and for the file where groups are stored now when it comes to auditing your system there's different tools we can use let's look at one we we'll install it using sudo app install lynis y for yes clear and then we'll run it sudo lynis audit system and this should run an audit and check 
various things on the system and then it's going to give you feedback so that way you can look at the output and decide what you need to enable or disable or what tools you need to install so this could take a while because it it checks quite a few things on the system i'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it so that's all for this video so those are some of the things we can do on on, on an ubuntu linux machine to harden and uh, secure it so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye